Hey everybody, it's Dizzy, and today I'm gonna show you how to do this orange and blue kind of cat eye, smoky eye transition to fall look with this soft burgundy lip. So if you guys would like to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I've got an eyebrow and one eye done. My camera will focus, there you go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is apply a base. I'm gonna apply a Maybelline color tattoo. This is the bold gold color. There we go. Maybe I should zoom out just a little bit. There you go, okay. So we're gonna put that, just pat that on the eye, just on the lid. That's just a base for what we're putting on next. Okay, so got that. Next, I'm gonna take my Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter, it's this thing, and I'm gonna take the matte side and put that under my brow and just blend that in with my finger. And this actually works really well as an eyeshadow base too. It's good stuff. Okay. Then we're gonna take the first of our shadows. We're gonna take a flat, stiff brush and we're gonna go into, I'm using all affordable stuff like I said and I'm using uh, mostly Coastal Scents for my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take this color which is called Deep Cantaloupe. It's like a bright golden orangey cantaloupe color. I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid. Once I've got that on there, I'm going to take a kind of fluffier brush. This is my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. And I'm going to take my transition color, which is called Oatmeal Tan. It's just a matte brown with a lot of orangey yellow in it. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. There we go. Okay, so once I've got that on there, I'm going to go into this color, which is really pretty. It's called Dark Mango. It's a matte, kind of vivid orange. And I'm gonna take that on kind of a small brush that's a little fluffy. And I'm gonna put that in the kind of outer V. So just lay that down. And scruff it around a little bit into the crease and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend that out in little circles. Okay, and I'm going to take that flat brush again and the cantaloupe color and pack a little bit of that on top of that color that we would just put down that flat orange and that's just going to give it slightly a darker orange and a little bit more metallic. Next I'm going to take a little bit of my oatmeal tan again and just put that back in the socket just to blend that out and then for my um, highlights I'm going to take a small brush. This is an e.l.f. professional defining eye brush. And I'm going to take this color, which is called Nude, which is just a really pretty shimmery nude color. It's like a kind of creamy color. And I'm just going to put that in the right under the brow bone. And then take that color I used in my a brush I used with the oatmeal tan on it and just kind of blend that in. Okay, so that is basically it for that. That gives us all that pretty orange. And now we're gonna use our fun pop of blue. So we're gonna take our Maybelline Master Drama Eye Studio in Midnight Master, which is the black one. It's just this little dial-up pencil. 
and I'm gonna put a draw a shape out kind of extending from the outer corner like you would a wing and then I'm not worrying about getting this too precise I'm just putting that all over the top of the eye and I'm going to take it a little bit about halfway underneath as well okay then I'm going to take a small brush it's going to be the Real Techniques accent brush, which is just this little guy. And I'm going to start smudging this around. I'm pulling it out into that wing shape and then smudging it a little underneath as well. Just to get that a little softer. And then you see how it's like super messy on the end? I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and do that. And I kind of like to clean as I go. So now we're going to get into our blue. Taking that same brush, I'm going to go into a blue eyeshadow. Actually, there's two different blues on here. So the first is this color which is called Mazarine Blue. It's got a little bit of a blue-green to it. I'm going to take that on my brush and that's going to go in the inner part of the eye, right over that black. And actually I'm going to add a little bit to this other side because it kind of got blended down. Yeah, that matches a little better. And then we'll do the same underneath. A little bit on that lower lash line. And then the next color I'm going to take to do the outer part is this color called Rainstorm, which is a much darker blue. So I'm just going to take Rainstorm and smudge that in on the outer part of the eye. Still creating that kind of wingy shape. And then a little bit underneath. Clean up as needed. Okay, now I'm going to take that black Master Drama pencil again and do a really good tight line. I want to darken that back up. And then we go in and put it on the lower waterline to darken that up. Oh, I'm out of focus. Okay, I'm in focus. Are we here? We're here. All right, once I've done that, I'm going to take a very tiny brush and I'm going to take a very light color. This is, let's see, what do we want to use? You know, we'll use this color. It's called Southern Belle, and it's this very pale yellow. I don't know if you can even tell it's yellow, but it is. And I'm just doing that right in the inner tear duct of the eye. There. Okay. And I feel like I'm losing some of the orange, and I don't want to, so I'm just going to take a little bit more of that cantaloupe orange color we use, if I can find it. I've got a smudgy. Good lord. Okay. Smudgy. I'm taking a little bit more of that. I'm just intensifying a tiny bit. So I don't lose all the orange. There we go. Now, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. And then we will do the rest of the face. Okay, and the mascara we are using today is my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And I'm gonna layer that on. Okay. 
So I think this look could be either summery or fallish. It could be transition. I think a lot of it depends on what you do about the rest of your makeup. I'm gonna skew it a little bit more towards a fall transition kind of look because it's not that warm here today. It's only gonna be in the 70s. And I'm feeling fallish. Okay, so let's zoom out. So I can show you, whoa, that's not out, that's in, okay. So let's show you the rest of my face and what I'm gonna put on it. So I've got everything cleaned up under there. Pretty good. Okay, now for my makeup, for my face, I'm gonna be using two different Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundations, the Classic Ivory, which is a little bit light, and the Buff, which is a little dark. And I'm just gonna mix them both on the back of my hand. I hear my phone ringing. Ah, not good timing. Trying to film. And I lock my cats out now when I film. So like, if I open the door, a cat will run in here. And there's nothing wrong with a cat running in here. But they like, think my makeup brushes are cat toys. Yay. Okay, so I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just kind of stippling that on. Now that I've mixed a color, that hopefully matches my face. And I'm just blending that in. And this is pretty much my favorite brush. I use it to put on my makeup pretty much every day, unless I use tinted moisturizer. And then I just slap that on with my fingers, but if I'm using real makeup with coverage, this is how I use it. Okay. Yeah, that seems to blend into my neck pretty well. Let me zoom out more so you guys can see that. Okay, hey, yeah, look, no lens. Yay. Okay. Now to further perfect everything, I'm gonna go in with concealer. And my concealer of choice lately is an old favorite, getting love once again. Where is it? Okay, here we go. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Corrector, and this is in the color Neutralizer. And my only problem with this was the packaging, like many people, but I've taken the sponge off and I just use it like that. And I have to say that since I've done that, I've never had a problem with it again. So I'm just gonna take a couple dots and put that under my eye. And then I do a little bit around my nose. And there's a little bit of blemish down here. Okay. So yeah. So I'm just taking another Real Techniques brush. This is my Deluxe Crease Brush. Which is the best concealer brush ever for me. I'm blending. And then I pat. And then I blend. And I've got a mirror in here. The lighting is not the best, so I'm just, I'm working with what I got. Okay, so I've got that, and then I just take my foundation brush and go back over it really quick. And then for looks like these that are a little bit darker, I'll actually go in and perfect even further with my Maybelline like illuminating brightener pen clicky concealer. And I just do that right in that inner part of the eye and a little bit over the cupid's bow, down the forehead, places that need, you know, brightening. And then I blend that in.
really get in the... As a girl from Sephora once put it, that area right there, she called it the bat cave. Because it tends to be darkest right there. Okay. That is pretty good with the concealer. Okay, now I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of powder to set this. This is my e.l.f. high definition powder. This guy. And I use the puff and I just roll it. I do a little under the eyes, a little around the nose, a little on the chin. And I call that done. Because I don't want to look cakey. And I have a little bit of a dry skin thing. Now, usually I would use my favorite bronzer of life, which is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, but since I'm trying to keep it all drugstore, I'll be using the Bronzer XL from Milani. This is the fake tan. No, I'm sorry, this is from NYC, not Milani. No, this is Milani. And it's Bronzer XL in fake tan. And then the color I'm gonna, and the brush I'm gonna be using is just this little duo fiber brush. And I just use the darker side of this, that's the bronzer side. And I put this kind of under my cheekbone. On both sides. And a little bit into the forehead. Under the jawline. But I just like that this kind of warms everything back up. I'm not trying for like a contour or anything. I just want like a little life and some dimension to the face. And then I use a um, cream blush from NYX. This is the NYX cream blush in tea rose. It's this beautiful color. It's so pretty, so natural. Just take a clean finger and dab that on kind of high up and rub that in, going back. Yeah, so it's just a nice, barely there kind of flush. Okay, and then just to blend that in some more, I take that Duo Fiber brush. I really blend that in. Okay, so once I've got that going on, last but not least, I'm gonna use a little bit of a highlight. This is the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder in the color Sun and Bronze, Rio, Rosa Rio. So it's just one of these three color little bronzers. I think this was a summer um, limited edition. But I just swirl in all of them and just go right on top. And it just gives a nice little touch of glow. And just kind of use it to highlight the face a little bit. So that's pretty good. All that's left is my lipstick. And the lipstick that I am using today is um, kind of a new old favorite. I wore it like when I was in high school but it's a good color, so I'm wearing it again. So I'm gonna line my lips in Palladio Lip Pencil in Burgundy, which is this kind of nice. Light burgundy color. I've got that on. Okay, and then the color of the lipstick I'm gonna be wearing is Revlon Super Lustrous in Rum Raisin. And this is what the color looks like. 
It's just a really pretty like browny, raisin, red, brown color. But it's nice, it's got kind of a, a fallish sort of thing going. So let's see, fluff out the hair. And there you go, there is my finished look. It's an orange and blue eye with a soft burgundy lip. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please comment down below if you wanna see more of these makeup videos or if you have an idea for one that you'd like me to do. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying maybe your own transition into fall. And um, please like and thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.